Hey friends, welcome back to another Poetry Per Thursday, because you can't have poetry without alliteration. So like every Thursday we are reading a poem, because you know, Poetry Per Thursday. So tonight we are reading My Last Dance by Julia Ward Howe. I usually don't go through the whole like, and this was who Julia Ward Howe was, and this is all the things that she wrote. I usually don't go through with that. I just put a biographical information and a copy of the text of a poem or a book down in the video description box. But when I was researching this, um, so Julia Ward Howe is best known for writing the Battle Hymn of the Republic, which if you are American, you probably know. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. That one. And the article I was reading said that at her funeral, 4,000 people got up and sang that song, which is like 4,000. Oh, that's, ooh. But the thing that really struck me was they said in the article I was reading that the reason they decided to sing that song wasn't just because it was a song that she wrote and was very famous for and she was very proud of it. It was that she was so proud of it, apparently for like book signings, people would just, at any public appearance this woman had, they would sing this song at her. The things you miss by not reading the description box, I guess. My Last Dance by Julia Ward Howe. The shell of objects inwardly consumed will stand till some convulsive wind awakes. Such sense hath fire to waste the heart of things, nature, such love to hold the form she makes. Thus wasted joys will show their early bloom, yet crumble at the breath of a caress. The golden fruitage hides the scathed bough, snatch it, thou scatterest wide its emptiness. For pleasure bidden, I went forth last night to where thick hung the festal torches gleamed. Here were the flowers, the music, as of old, almost the very olden time it seemed. For one with cheek unfaded, though he brings my buried brothers to me in his look, said, Will you dance? At the accustomed words I gave my hand, the old position took. Sound, gladsome measure, at whose bidding once I felt the flush of pleasure to my brow, while my soul shook the burthen of the flesh, and in its young pride said, Lie lightly thou. Then, like a gallant swimmer flinging high my breast against the golden waves of sound, I rode the maddening tumult of the dance, mocking fatigue that could never be found. Chide not. It was not vanity, nor sense, the brutish scorn such vaporous delight, but nature, cadencing her joy of strength to the harmonious limits of her right. She gave her impulse to the dancing hours, to winds that sweep, to stars that noiseless turn. She marched the measure rapid hearts must keep, devised each pace that glancing feet should learn. And sure, that prodigal overflow of life, unvowed as yet to family or state, sweet sounds, white garments, flowery coronals make holy and the pageant of our fate. Sound, measure, but to stir my heart no more. For as I moved to join the dizzy race, my youth fell from me. All its blooms were gone, and others showed them, smiling in my face. Faintly I met the shock of circling forms linked to each other, fashion's galley slaves, dream wondering like an unaccustomed ghost that starts, surprised, to stumble over graves. For graves were neath my feet whose placid masks smiled out upon my folly mournfully, while all the host of the departed said, Tread lightly, 
Thou art ashes, even as we. The end. Good night.